we've certainly got the 16 to 19 year old age group, it's a high risk group being involved in crashes. So what we're trying to do is reduce the incidence and severity of those crashes. A lot of the mistakes that they make lead to injuries, so we need to make sure that they don't make those mistakes. So we explain some of the risks associated with driving that's particular to their age group. And then also we try to get them into the safest cars possible. Monash University has said that if we could get this age group into the safest car possible, that's not the newest car possible, but the safest car possible in a particular group, that we could reduce the incidence and severity of crashes by up to 80%. So that's a significant saving uh, for us as, as far as a road toll is concerned, economically and certainly socially and emotionally for the people involved. What we're trying to do here is explain the risks associated with driving. We had about 3,600 expiation notices issued for handheld mobile phones in 2005. By 2010 that's gone to 10,600. So the use of electronic devices in cars has certainly increased over the years and that has also increased the risk of being involved in a crash. We're doing a program called Crash Scene Investigation, which takes science from the classroom and applies it in a real world environment. So we talk about Newton's laws, we talk about kinetic energy, we talk about the coefficient of friction, things that they'll be learning because science is compulsory to year 10, and we give them some real world examples explaining how we use those maths and science formulae to resolve issues like how crashes occurred, how people got hurt, and how we can bring about changes in the road environment to improve safety. There are a lot of things that we can do in classrooms and we can learn in classrooms, but what we're trying to provide is a kinesthetic learning environment where they can put their hands on a real car and they can control that car and actually experience the, the risks that they're taking. So what we're trying to explain is hazard perception and risk assessment so that we can give them uh, an understanding of what's likely to occur when they start taking their eyes off the road.